What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Curry Spice back with another video. And so <laughs> it's Halloween and I'm heading to work. I have my Playboy Bunny costume on and I'm getting <laughs> definitely some reviews. <laughs> People are telling me that they like my costume. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm just so happy I don't have to wear the uniform today. You see? Got my ears, got my collar thingy. Got the asymmetrical shoulder thing going on. Got my sneakers because I still have to keep it as work friendly, comfortable as possible. Because I don't know if a, an emergency situation is going to come up. <laughs> Because I um, actually had to save a resident from falling yesterday. And I made it just in time. Like, um, they say you're not really supposed to... Um, you're not supposed to really save a resident from falling. Because you could hurt yourself. I mean, but there's a certain way you can do it. But I... I just tackled... I tackled her like she was a football. Like, I mean, that's how it was <laughs> when I saved her from falling. But, but, but... Um, She's very soft, so I was able to cushion the blow, so I, I didn't feel anything at all. And she didn't get hurt either, so. <laughs> but she really appreciated that I, I came to her rescue. And luckily, she was a really slow fall, so I came just in time to, to swoop, her, swoop her up. <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, I haven't filmed in a couple of weeks or so but um i just wanted to give you like a little halloween update <laughs> i don't really celebrate halloween but um i'm thinking about changing that i'm thinking about maybe like being more costume friendly and going trick-or-treating out more uh, with the kids because I, I went out trick-or-treating with my kids plenty of um Halloweens. But this Halloween is not going to happen, obviously, because I work. But, uh, but I guess maybe my husband has it covered this year. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so heading to work. There's not really much for me to say except, um, my mood has been up and down. Definitely called a mindset shift for a reason. <laughs> because it doesn't come easy and it takes hard work and the thing about a mindset shift is you have to create new habits which are healthy habits and it takes 21 days to create a habit so you practice something enough it becomes the new normal so I'm in this journey right now of creating the new normal. But it's a healthy new normal. So, um, I always wanted to be like more spiritually inclined. I almost got my ears chopped off. <laughs> but yeah, so I always wanted to be more spiritually inclined and uh, in tune with myself and unfazed by anything fearless and uber confident uber confident like I'm confident I'm way confident now than I ever was but there's still more improvement to go I still have a ways to go and uh, when I look back at um how far I've come, I'm just so flabbergasted. Guys, I used to not pick up my phone. When friends called, I was just so terrified of picking up the phone. I was just, it's, it was a pet, like not a pet peeve, but it was a, it was a fear. 
It was an it was an irrational fear of mine where I was like afraid to get bad news. You know? So I would I would I would dodge my phone even if I knew it was a friend calling me and get my coffee for a minute. It's dripping. Even if I knew it was a friend calling me, a friend that I love to talk to. But it, I don't know, I just I had this huge anxiety. And I don't really have that anxiety anymore. I, I have different anxieties. I mean, I, I still have a little anxiety, but it's it's doable now. It's, it's doable for me to kind of push it to the side and and deem it as like irrational you know but yeah but it, it's an ongoing process working on my persona it's something that definitely needs to be developed on a daily basis until I get to that successful level that I'm looking for so that's pretty much what I'm going through right now going through this ongoing uh, mental makeover, so to speak. And uh, um, I've been working a lot. I haven't really been talking to friends or anything. Um, yeah, that's all it's really been about lately. Work, work, work. And if I'm not caregiving, I'm uh, working on my side business. And also... I've been looking at positions in the company, so I've been applying to other positions, because I've been there for like uh, almost six months. Actually, the fourth of next week will be my six month anniversary at this company, and um, I get my vacation pay activated, so I'm excited about that. So I'll have full benefits by next week full benefits so the thing is um, I haven't been working as much because I you know there's other responsibilities I have and I've just been um, creating time freedom and my financial situation has been declining because I've been generating time freedom and so that's like what I'm going through now. So I'm trying to find ways that I can generate more income because my business is just getting started. It hasn't kicked off yet. So yeah, just getting started and uh, developing new skills and Working on my personal brand. Watch a lot of motivational videos. Because um, my mood has been going up and down. And I use the motivational videos as a sense of like indoctrinating myself. It's a good kind of indoctrination. <laughs> um, so I'm switching arms. I have my coffee holding my coffee in so yeah so but it's nothing good in life guys comes easy nothing um, that's just how it is so developing your personal brand to working on a mental makeover um, it's a tedious process but in the long run, it's very re rewarding. And lately I've been feeling disconnected. I feel disconnected at my job because um, I feel like I'm not on the same, same wavelength as other people. And you know what? I always felt like that as a kid. I always felt weird. Like something about me was weird because I felt like my mindset was different from others. I felt outcasted and I was outcasted uh, because something about me was different. And I didn't know if I should just chalk that up to me just being weird or what, but I was researching 
different characteristics of what is comprised of a entrepreneur, like like the characteristics uh, characteristics that an entrepreneur has. Um, is a video on um, YouTube, and that's actually one of the characteristics. Is um, they're treated differently because the mindset is their mindset is different, and they you know feel outcasted, don't have little to no friends. But yeah, so I can definitely relate to that. So after reading that or watching that video it made me feel like oh, okay this feeling that I had ever since I was a kid now has some legitimacy to it now it's like this is why I feel this way it's because I'm this kind of person because I, I'm, I'm training my mindset I say graduate to entrepreneurship and it's just, it's a lot, I mean, but at least it makes me feel comforted to know exactly what's going on versus I'm weird because I'm not like everyone else, so what's wrong with me, you know, like what is my, like what is my problem, what is my deal, <laughs> what is it about me that's unique, and, and taking a lifetime to figure it out. You know, my entire life, and it just recently dawned on me why I'm unique. I have all the characteristics intact. So everything they mentioned in the video, I have. And um, one of them, the other uh, characteristic is someone who is malleable. I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. M malleable so malleable is like coachable willing to change what I get from it is accepting um, constructive criticism and using it to become better do better be better putting the pride aside for a greater good and that's all what I'm about right now so, guys, wish me luck. Wish me luck. Um, I've never felt this way so strongly. I've never had this, this personal growth, inner conflict in my life ever. Not like this. It's insane. It's like a God versus devil conflict within me. It's just constantly fighting in my head. And it feels very uncomfortable. But I never made it this far in a network, in a network marketing company before. Um, so I, I am obliged to stick it out and see where it goes. I have to ride this out. There's no other alternative. I can't quit. And a 90 something percent of people quit. When they have this feeling in their head, they quit because it's too uncomfortable. We love things that are comfortable. But when everything's comfortable, you don't grow. So guys, keep that in mind, okay? Um, if you wanna grow, you have to learn how to be uncomfortable. So, yes, that's it for now. This video ran way too long. So, in the meanwhile, if you can hear me over these passing cars out here in Huntington Beach, <laughs> Looking forward to spicing up your life one episode at a time. Bye.